Welcome to the 10th video session of the chapter Human Health and Disease. In this module, we are going to study about AIDS, HIV virus and modes of transmission of HIV virus. AIDS Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome Syndrome means that the person has characterized by a set of associated symptoms. He is prone to a large number of symptoms and it is caused due to deficiency of the immune system. That is what the name AIDS imply to acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. And this, this uh, disease he has acquired during his lifetime and it is not present from the time of birth. That is the meaning of congenital. It is not present in the individual from the time of his birth. He has acquired it during this lifetime. It was first reported in the year 1981 and since the last 25 years uh, many million persons were killed due to AIDS. The causative organism uh, for AIDS is human immunodeficiency virus HIV virus. It is a retrovirus. Why it is called as a retrovirus? Because the genome present in this virus is an RNA. It is an RNA virus and uh, it is uh, this RNA genome is enclosed by a protein coat. The different modes of transmission of HIV are sexual contact with infected person that is if a person is having multiple sex partners second by transfusion of contaminated blood and blood products third is by sharing infected needles in the case of intravenous drug abusers and fourth is from an infected mother to her child through placenta by all these modes of transmission we can understand that the cause of HIV infection is through body fluids it is not by physical touch or physical contact that means if a person who is having AIDS if we touch him or her it is not possible for it to spread that means HIV infection is a non-infectious disease it takes a few months or a few years for uh, HIV to express itself in a body that is it uh, takes 5 to 10 years between infection and appearance of AIDS symptoms Dear children, in class 11 in the chapter Biomolecules, we had studied about nucleic acids, DNA and RNA, which is made up of nucleotides. So what is DNA? It has the information to make a particular protein. So the information from DNA has to flow to protein and this takes place through two steps, transcription and translation. And this flow of information from DNA to proteins is called as central dogma of molecular biology. So transcription is the process by which the information in DNA is copied into an RNA. So the information both are in the language of nucleotides. The language of DNA nucleotides is transcribed into a language of RNA nucleotides. We know the difference in nucleotides between DNA and RNA. So from once it is transcribed into an RNA, it is translated into proteins that is the language of nucleotides is converted into a lang it's translated into a language of amino acids we know proteins are made up of amino acids so dna even though it has the information to make protein it cannot directly synthesize protein it is done with an intermediate called rna molecule and this is called as central dogma there is a process called as reverse transcription. In the last slide, we studied that the information in DNA is copied to RNA in the process called as transcription. Whereas uh, these days, we would have uh, seen many videos in uh, of how the COVID or coronavirus it uh, is able to survive inside a human. Okay, it is because uh, just like coronavirus, this. Uh, AIDS virus or HIV virus is also a retrovirus. Retrovirus means it's having an RNA genome. So we know a virus cannot survive uh, inside a host without the uh, help of the host machinery because the genome of the host is DNA whereas the genome of virus is RNA and it requires the host genome in order to survive inside that host. So what happens is it has to undergo a process called as reverse transcription and for this there is an enzyme called as reverse transcriptase which helps the information in RNA to be copied back to DNA that is it is a reversal of transcription so it is called as reverse transcription and that is uh, done with the help of a catalyst or enzyme called as reverse transcriptase.